The retards are at it again. Not content to fuck up the parts of the economy that they run, state-owned enterprises, hospitals, schools, etc., etc., the South African government wants to break the private sector again. This week it's the Competition Commission, which is an extension of the Department of Trade and Industry. Yes, the Competition Commission has a problem with the cell phone industry in this country. Well, now let me see. Infrastructure in South Africa. That's things like water systems, roads, airports, electricity network, telecommunications system. Let's see how these industries are going. Let's start with electricity. State-owned. Outages, load shedding, sky-high price increases, theft and corruption, financial crisis, a tottering wreck that monopolizes the industry and has raised prices five-fold in recent years. Fucked. Water. Let's talk about water. State provided. Water running out. Bad bulk water planning. Corruption. Stolen pipes. Broken pipes. Underinvestment. Sewage going into the Vol River. Fucked. Roads. Yes, roads full of potholes. Toll gantries that are not used. Reckless drivers. No law enforcement. Drunkenness. Fucked. <laughs> Telcos. Oh, telcos. Now those are privately owned, highly profitable, work seamlessly, world-class high-speed internet, total coverage of the whole country, totally not fucked. So which of these industries does the government decide to mess with and threaten to undermine and destabilize so that future investment is threatened? The fucked ones. No, no, siri. They fuck with the ones that are not fucked. The most ludicrous proposal in this Competition Commission report is that private operators, MTN and Vodacom, should give their competitors a leg up. Their competitors like Celsi and Telcom. Also, they should give some of their needy customers some free bandwidth. I mean, why stop there for fuck's sakes? Why not make it a new network package deal and throw in a free monthly hot dog and a hand job once a month? <laughs> you know, Germans are a funny bunch. They like to save money. It's a big thing with them. Thrift. It's got a long tradition in Germany. Today, saving is viewed in Germany as a tradition and a virtue. This goes for consumers who like stashing cash under mattresses and in their check accounts, as well as for the state, which has run a budget surplus. Can you think of that? A budget surplus in this day and age for the last five years, as well as companies which hoard profits. Last year, German households added over 108 billion euros to their bank accounts. Yo. That's more than at any time since the euro was established. I don't know, how many years ago was that? Cash and bank deposits, 2.5 trillion euros. That's 40% of German people's net asset value. About 140 billion euros of actual banknotes are squirreled under mattresses by Germans. It was reported this week that a northwestern German man lost half a million euros because he had them kept in the boiler. That's right, the little, uh, you know, sort of boiler that keeps the hot water in his apartment block. And his friend set the boiler on to work and the entire cash stash was burned. Oh boy, what a blunder. Yes, well, the hero of the week has been found and crowned. He is this guy, a star Hungarian speed skater called Saba Burjan. So this guy lands in Shanghai in order to represent his country, Hungary, at the Speed Skating World Cup, which starts tomorrow Friday. However, Berjan's arrival at the Pudong International Airport evidently did not go very smoothly. He reportedly had to wait over an hour in the line at the airport customs. During that time, he fired off a post on Instagram showing the long queues with the message, Fucking China! Anyway, he's been kicked out of the country, off the team and sent home. Fucking Chinese, zero sense of humor. Get out of here. <laughs>